for the first time in seven years. Today we'll have a, f a new woman champion and for the first time in three years, it looks like we're gonna have a new male champion. It's been a very close year this year. And today anything can happen, like there is no guaranteed winner. You know, like over the last, over kind of like the tier reign and the mat reign, usually won by a lot of points, whereas anyone could win today. Let's go find out who that's gonna be. Those new implements that everyone was talking about. Field looks good. A lot of woodworking time gone into that. This is a really cool set. How the field looks really cool with those, doesn't it? The last event on North Park of the 2023 CrossFit Games. Here, here we go. Last time ever in North Park. Oh damn, yeah. And just like that, it was the final day of competition. Three days down, one day to go. Three events separating one of these incredible athletes from being crowned fittest on earth for 2023. Going into the day, this was the top five on the male side. Roman Krennikov leading by 13 points. And as the field had been cut down to 20 overnight, every placing was even more important today. The workout... Five rounds for time, seven ring muscle-ups, one sandbag over three logs. Picking it up and walking it in between, the logs progressively getting higher. The first four rounds with a 150 pound bag for the males and round five with a 200 pound bag. A spectacle is what I'd call it for the last ever event on North Park. Visually pleasing, but also an incredible test of gymnastics and strength. before jumping on the rings. Pretty good at ring muscle up so I thought I can you know keep up with the with the first group with the fast guys. And I did. I think I was maybe the first one out of the last muscle ups but then Jeff like I needed to play the heavy back a little bit safer than Jeff I guess like especially the last beam it's pretty pretty tall for me. So I think it was like touch and go that I got it over the beam and I had to give it a little little push and then at that time like Jeff was already a couple seconds. Was it a, was it a fun event? Yeah I really enjoyed it. I think yeah. it was good. We had a lot of concern yesterday on the vlog about your lifting and how your welfare was. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> is, uh, are you feeling better today? Not really, no. No. I just want to get that paycheck. <laughs> he makes an appearance again. <laughs> uh, consistency is king. Uh, so far, except for day one. For the last couple of days, you've uh -huh. been just racking up the points. True. 
How was that one? That one was fun. It was a fun workout. I, it was actually a fun workout. Yeah, yeah really fun. A little, fra a little <laughs> friend much, love. How much time did it take? No idea. You came in first. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But time doesn't matter if you come the across time, the line first. The time frame, oh. probably, a, what, a seven minutes, seven, eight minutes? Seven minutes. <laughs> on a hurt scale, you know, like sometimes you know you got like real painful workouts. This was not that. It was uh, the fourth and fifth round was they. It was uh, you were starting to feel it, but it doesn't feel like a like a bike sprint. Was it more managing the bag or the muscle up fatigue? It seems like it's it was the muscle ups. So I think I think I I made my move on the last set of muscle ups, and you were fast on the rings too. You were going up on the rings right away. So I think that the rings mattered more than the bag, especially on round four and five. Now, uh, 200 pound bag over that, what was it, six foot at the end? It's five and a half, but I don't know where the five and a half was. Yeah. So yeah. it was. It, it felt kind of high. Last day, still fighting. Yep. Still here. Yep. Having fun? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I'm having more fun than I was earlier, <laughs> if, that, if that means anything. But uh, yeah, not the weekend I wanted, but I think it's uh, like, there's always good that comes from situations. And I think uh, I've kind of learned that, put a lot of pressure on myself, I think this year. And uh, I'm definitely learning from that. So people on the vlog were like, we haven't seen Justin. I was like, I haven't, I haven't seen Justin. All weekend I've wanted to give him a hug, you know what I mean? Like, just be like, he's my boy. <laughs> but he's busy doing his job, you know? He needed a good hug, yeah, you yeah. know? That was a good one. Honestly, yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> but he gives 11 out of 10 hugs, so... <laughs> Ellie's a lucky lady, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to say. Positive is though, last night, one pound PR. One pound PR. On the snap. Yeah, you take it. Without walking it out. I know, I know. I, 285, I've hit twice. Every time I've done it, it's just been like, catch it in the bottom, like, kind of take like two or three steps out of it. Head out the door. Yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah, hey, count it though. Crossfit, it counts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I stuck it uh, today, got or yesterday, got 286, so. Great hugger. He is a great hugger. Yeah. He's got lots of practice this weekend, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I turned it. Uh... Now on the female side, the start of day four looked like this with the leaderboard. Emma Lawson leading by just over 40 points. So moves were gonna have to be made if she was gonna get caught. The female sandbag weight of this was 100 pounds and in round five, 125 pounds and the log height didn't change. So that five and a half foot log at the end and the sandbag itself seemed to be a little bit more of a separator on the female side rather than the male side kind of turned into who was efficient with it. That's the documentary on Cat from Hardwick Pays Off. Huh? 
the documentary on Cap from Hard Work Razor. You nearly forgot the bag. Yeah, f me. I never learn, do I? We're talking strategy. Uh, we're going to send our medical bills to you. Is that okay? I don't know if I should say this on the camera. I've got perforated eardrums. From him? Yeah. You can't stand by him. He'll, I know he's yelling hard. He'll cup his hands like this and then go, let's go. It's if he's be not direct. yelling hard, it's open. So when the hands are together, you're, that's There was your one thing fault. he said at one point. He, he goes, you look beautiful out there. And Jazz was like, I need a coach like that. I need positive reinforcement. So, you look strong, you look pretty. You look if you were to tell me like move faster, my brain takes that as negative and I like shut off. So, he'll be like, you're beautiful. Your arms look great. And I'm like, yeah, they do. <laughs> Throw that same. I had to learn me. though how to cheer for her. Yeah. Cause I used to cheer for her how I would want to be cheered for me. And there would be times like back in the day I would, you know, she's bending over breathing heavy. And I'm like, you can breathe after the workout. And, and then she would look at me and be like, shut up. And then we had- And a then we had a few fights after that. So yeah. we Not worked fight. on it. I'm training, he's training his voice. Yeah. yeah. So just learning how to train for how that athlete wants to be cheered for. Public service announcement, always stay hydrated, especially yeah. on hot days like today. <laughs> Yeah. Um, film crew on Laura, yeah? Uh, the events that she wins, she doesn't just win. Yeah, she destroys them, yeah. It pays to be strong. Listen to him. If you want to put all your eggs into one basket, put it in the strong one. And you, you've been finding that recently too, haven't you? Yes. And it's very enjoyable, isn't it? It's so enjoyable. Lift heavy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, often. Often. Yeah. Often. You did awesome. Another one. Yeah. Smashed it. Whack a mole. Just win an event. Comes back up. Win another one. This was good. Also, PR clean last night. Buzzing. Clean and jerk. Not clean. Yeah. I clean more before and jerk more before, but together, I think this is a PR. And the crowd, bananas. Yeah, so good. <laughs> it was. It was. Oh, that so was good. good. This is one thing. You can't, if you're viewing from home, you can feel what people are feeling inside a Colosseum. It is special. Oh, also, yes. I've got this. I don't know if you did it first or you did it first, but when you like do really well in an event, you cross the line and you say, let's go, but like really, but I've seen Christoph do that. It's a good feeling. It just Learning from Christoph. He's the hype man in the no. family. Learn everything learn. from this guy. It's from, it comes from within. You just, hmm. you just have something different within you, you know? If you're strong, strong, you go like that. Yep waving at the fans, but uh, Laura has just made history by winning the last ever event at the North Park. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a moment really, that's it. North Park's done. Another plug. Yep. There'll be obviously a rendition of it well, somewhere yeah, else. Be, I wonder if they'll call it a North Park at the new place. Well, it depends on where it, it is physically is. on the uh, old... Yeah. yeah. If it's south of the map, can they call it a North Park? Who knows? This is Ola! Hey! <laughs> Made Jazz's day that. <laughs> she really did. It was all so nice. Right. Everyone kept where's, comment. Where's the? Everyone kept commenting on my fishnet sling. I got it, I got self-conscious. So I just took it off. <laughs> Do you have the time for a quick one? You're inspiring the younger generation out there. Thank you. Taking a photo. here to really give a proper diagnosis of what the problem is. So we do have... It was off that last event though. Yeah, he jumped over the log and instead of falling on the grass, he fell on a sandbag. So he rolled his uh, ankle he in towards foot. But yet again, we don't know much. We, we will need to have a proper IRMA um, medical imagery to really give a proper diagnosis. But he's still going to do the next one. He's still going. He's he's still going to do the next one. And it's it's really a pity because that's a good worker for him. The last workout is a great worker for him. But yeah, the things that happen in the sport. You get advice. And there it was, the penultimate event of the weekend, the second to last. Jeffrey Adler, after winning the morning's event, was in the red and white. 
And up next was the parallel bar pull. Eight rounds for time, down and back on the parallel bars, 30 heavy rope double unders, and then we found out the reason for those blocks. People thought they were gonna be outside, but they were inside. They were what you could put your feet against to pull the sled. Now, there was a lot of questions around this workout in the back room with Roman Krenikov limping, but the decision was made to go out there, do his best. There was no minimum work requirement, so he was still in the fight. So, I, I, well, I lost one. I got zero points for 20th bro. So damn. I should have just fucking, you know. You should have stopped. Oh no. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know if there was a minimum work requirement. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know either. So uh, that one's, you know, when you're doing the, your chest gets pumped. Uh, oh, do you remember yeah. the Arnold side pose? Um, his, his famous one where his shelf looks uh, like a chest. A little bit. I'm not like a big, I was never like a big body build. Like I've been doing crossfit since I'm 13 bro. I've been looking thing. at like throning and shit, you know what I mean? Bend this arm. Right. Then this one. Like that, and then sideways. Look at that. Unbelievably pumped off the back of that. <laughs> Diddy's? Good bounce back. Yeah, thanks, bro. I'm happy with that one. That was fun. That was, uh, that's what I'm here for, is mainly fun. And that was fun. <laughs> Travis Scott's. Those are beautiful. Joanne and I got a matching pair of the reverse mochas for our wedding after party. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was fun. They were, they were a quarter of the price in my she, size than Craig's. So oh, I was nice. like, well, I'm getting them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she didn't buy me them. Uh, she said, today I'm going to avoid people, gravel, and water. Yeah. Probably a good call. Yeah, yeah no scuff marks. No, <laughs> I Put the chalk next to your rope so, like, but rounds like six, seven, eight are going to be like, oh, the rope is slipping out of my hands. So, like, before the six, seven, eight, just like maybe just six and like eight and just. Okay. Legs on the pool. Okay. You don't feel it. Okay. The hardest thing is the double moves. Okay. Because it yeah. really tires you for the pool. Said you'd come and see me if I won an event, right? I did, and <laughs> you won, and I went, wow, we've got to go see him. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I, <laughs> if I was to see all the workouts on paper this weekend, I wouldn't have guessed that would have been the one that I would have won, if that makes sense. I would have guessed the wall ball or the you know the other two I came third in. A couple of questions. Yeah. You did your double unders with, with the rope coming out the back for a couple of rounds? Yeah, like a motorcycle grip. Um, I think I saw Matt Frazier do that in like 2018. Does it make so, much difference? Not really. No. <laughs> um, it's just like a little, little different feeling. And two, you know, for those of you at home, if you have a, if you have a jump rope, give it a try and see how it feels. It doesn't change it that much. And two, um, from the fans because we were up there, they thoroughly enjoyed when you crossed the line and you you ran down and you were like, <laughs> yeah, just, and then like jumped and it was. <laughs> You know, <laughs> sometimes I think my, my nature is not to do that Ladies, stuff, but I always like seeing other people do it. Neil, and, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm not going to have another 10, you know, and so Roll just to try to eight. try to lap it up a little bit and have Roll a little bit of fun. Um, you know, those are the little moments you remember Powers and the fans seem to get into it too. And it kind of takes, it, it pumps up five. your adrenaline, which makes you feel not as tired. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Just kind of beats me up. God, looks like I pissed blood. It's actually just from my little pinky thing. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. And uh, what, what, are you, what are you eating post-event? Just a bar that's been in my bag for a few days. Yeah, nice. No, nice and soft, warm, it's very gooey. It's yeah. been sweating for a few days. It's good. Oh, 
there's currently a big decision moment going on over there. Roman sat after that event, obviously not being able to use his foot really. They're all having a big discussion. Big moment of the weekend. Dan Bailey said he's going to give me this, this mug. He's been giving me this mug for a year. Big moment, massive moment of the weekend. Honestly, I can't wait. It's been years in the making, this. And I swear, this is not used. Not used. It's got, it's got some... This is just the most... So, it's the worst delivery. Every morning, I'll be sat on my veranda with my dogs <laughs> from tomorrow when we go home. From Tuesday. Tuesday. And I'll be thankful that we made this happen. It's taken about a year. I messaged him, I said, I'm gonna come see you. And he's like, I'm leaving. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Where are no, you? you? Car can't. park, I'm coming. <laughs> now we're here. This is, this is so American, right? <laughs> if I had to drive eight hours, um, I'm looking for the closest flight. That's not bad. He's driving it's home. He just goes, hours. You get ah, to go see eight. God's country. Yeah. Like, just travel along. Yeah. What, I mean, country music radio? Oh, for sure. It'll be some of that. Zach Bryan, Tyler Childers. Yeah, those are going to be on the playlist. I'll yeah, be singing my little heart out. Dan Bailey on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, you're looking around today and you're like the smiliest person here. <laughs> Last day and you're like <laughs> smiling at everyone. Best one, best one. Might as well have fun, you know. It's our last time here. It's the last time out there. That's me. Make the most of it. Going two for two on the workouts, Laura Horva winning the parallel bar pull in a time of 8.36. Emma Lawson in this event took a 10th, meaning that Laura Horvath going into the final event would be in the red and white. The question was, could she make it three for three? What do you mean, is there something there? Did you not whip yourself? What's it? Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. I didn't even feel that. <laughs> do you see the big faces of you out there? Yes. They're like massive. So good. A big lick, too. Did uh, you see those? So good. And did you see it on the TV screen when you came in? I did. I just saw it. I was yeah. like, oh my god. So yes. you're on TV, but also big heads of you are on TV. Big heads of me and my dog. And your dog. And they're in the Coliseum, too. They're everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's freaking cool. Does anybody else have a big head? Probably not. You should definitely try and get it. Oh yeah, I will. Like, put it in like, you should, uh, okay. yes, I've got it. Get a big stick. Yes. Put it on there, put it in your lawn. Why not? And yeah. then, you know. I'll be like, beware dogs and just put me and my dog. Yeah. Beware dog, yeah. That's a rough part of the weekend when you get to this point and you're like, wow. Yeah. I'm not liking the way I I'm smell. I'm quite embarrassed, yeah. Because I'm like a, I'm very sensitive to smells um, and I'm a very like have to have obviously my deodorant and like my perfumes and everything nice little mixture and I have to be smelling good and when I smell like this after four days of competition I'm just ready to like get in a shower get in my nice clothes out of these uniforms but we got one more event till we can do that and that that one sounds very painful yeah yeah. It will be full sun, but the good news is it's our last full sun, so it makes it a little bit easier mentally because, like, we're all pretty trash. And yeah, my you're like, are right, trash and I'm gonna put myself so far in the dirt, it doesn't yeah. matter anyway. Yeah, we have months to recover. <laughs> Jazz came actually did come down <laughs> about 20 minutes ago and went, oof, smells of feet. It does, yeah. it smells of feet down here, so like nobody's looking at anyone individually thinking it's yeah. them, it just generally smells of I don't know though, I did, I did hear someone actually, someone actually did say, ooh, think pages. <laughs> <Yeah. smelling. laughs> that last day energy, isn't it? It's like you can kind just of feel it a little bit, yeah. It. You've got it's a spade hard. out, but you're hitting some solid surface. It's, it's hard to stay in it. Like Kyle told me today, he said something and I was like, I know, like being all nice. And he's like, you're losing your competition edge. I was like, ah. <laughs> it's just so hard to say like aggressive and switched on when you get progressively more tired. Yeah. Same. 
Yeah. Been a rough weekend for me too. Yeah, I don't got it. <laughs> How it about my unorganized rope? That was a mess. You didn't, you didn't realize it. When you picked up a clump of rope and threw it, there was a judge kneeling there and it just like landed on him. <laughs> 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 oh my you, god. You literally picked it up and he was like, I if you a, picked it up here, you were looking this way and you just went, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to run out to Lynn time to be like, my, my college. <laughs> I like went to turn and my hand slipped. And I held, like I got, I like caught myself and then got back up and he was like, no rap. Like, Would you <laughs> like to swear on the vlog? Are uh, real loud? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you want me to say? Well, just if you wanted to vent it, you know what oh. I mean? Just get it out, you know? I, I mean, yeah, I was just like... That's a good... Yeah, I was going to ask what's your swear word of choice. Yeah, there it is. Because I bleep them out anyways, because it's a family-friendly okay. show, but... Nice. At the end of it, going, please? <laughs> <laughs> please, just maybe... Are you sure you want to give me an ORAP? It looks so cute! <laughs> no, it didn't work. So, if you do that, I will transfer you $50. If That's you put. It? We said something funny, and. Okay, $100. Oh my god. If she writes no regrets, you know, like that terrible <laughs> tattoo that spelt wrong. Give me more than that. $250. <laughs> yeah, they might kick me out. For no, this. you can't have a tattoo. It'll be worth it. 50 bucks. No regrets. No regrets. Uh, $150. If she does it and she's on the TV. Oh my god. We will find out later in the video. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's a thousand. A thousand dollars to have no regrets. Yeah. It's I just, feel like that too. It's so, yeah, it's so public and pictures yeah, and video true, that are gonna live true. forever. Yeah, Even but it'll be a memory. A good one though? Always stay hydrated. There you go. No Olsen with a public service <laughs> announcement. Chandler likes to say hydrate or dihydrate. Uh, catchy. Yeah, it is. Right. Changing the world in a very positive way. Yes. By hydrating them, keeping them fresh. Right up. You're really pushing it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys, the legends watching this TV, to be like, wow, and maybe I should go take a sip of water. Hydration is genuinely very important, but I, I'm not entirely sure where this came from or why we're pushing it so hard, but it is important. <laughs> it's just becoming a thing. <laughs> Whilst all the events are on and people are going, there's still a lot of people down there still looking at it. Medical team, it's been about an hour now. More surprising. I think you probably could sing. Dude, I, you could sing. You have a silky voice. Baritone. Rob, nice. oh, look at Rob's. Probably, yeah, sing. They've been trying to get like, so I actually can sing, <laughs> and they've been trying to convince me to do an HWPO a cappella group. Um, considering this is what we have to work with, auditions have gone terribly. <laughs> can you give us? You've definitely us got the, the the gravel. You know, like I feel like you know some artists smell like uh, you know like they've smoked a few cigarettes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I could do the smoke a cigarette voice. I would. I think when I hit 65, I'm just going to start smoking cigarettes so I can really have that also I'm going to insert the photo of Jake hanging out the window with his hair oh, yeah. you would be a very recognizable artist yeah 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 I would I mean yeah. I don't have the hair anymore though yeah, but so. you'd bring it back as a personality thing I probably would if mm. I was going to be a if I was going to be a singer for sure I'd bring it back <laughs> yeah do you think the fact that you don't think <laughs> I'm sweating I feel like I'm going to slip off I'm not weak <laughs> Oh, you, that's so odd, dude. That was, that was He's small. outside of the respect zone. The respect zone's 15. <laughs> yeah, Craig, it's not a good look, dude. Is there a special holding way? I hold it like Did this. Break it. Everyone's got a different strategy. What, what I don't doing? like it by the chest. <laughs> oh, dude. Jazz, you have to go You're next. You're a powerful I'm... guy, man. You gotta go fast. Where's your I'm... fast switch? Obviously lost in the weekend. <laughs> Yeah. Tied the course record. What is it? Not point. Not point six. Got that fast. Dude, course. I need to get my <laughs> That's crazy. Dude. Send it to Chadrick. I'm sending right now. More than you. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Oh, he's upgraded me. Yeah. I'll see you later, man. Go yeah. To England. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. What's up? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got me, you got me. A little bit moody over the Dome of Doom before the last event.
The final event, it wasn't announced until just before, and it sounded spicy. 21, 18, 15. Echo bike calories and thrusters at an ascending weight, starting at 85 pounds for the females, 115 pounds for the males, and going up to 105 pounds for the females and 155 for the males. Before then, a 66 foot overhead walking lunge to the finish with the final bar. I actually asked Boz why not 21, 15, 9. You know, we're all accustomed to that, and he said this. Yeah. So 21, 15, 9 was just too easy. Not spicy enough. Not spicy, Not spicy enough. enough. These guys, I mean, they're the fittest on earth. Yeah. You're sore for the weekend. What about that workout? I'm tired now. Good job. Yeah, good stuff, y'all. Jelly, jelly. I'm not saying that. Jelly. I never my shoulders, it's like no shoulder for the width of that. What's up? Rookie year done. Yeah. Let's see what that gives on the leaderboard. Where do you think? Uh, I dropped out, out of the top 10, but it would be nice to jump back in. So, fingers crossed for the last heat. Have you had fun? I have left everything on the floor and I will have fun watching back knowing that I've done everything in my power. Yeah. But for now it was more a survival mode. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. You think it's hard, but it's even harder than you can imagine. Yeah. What's yeah, happening? Noah is signing his shirt that he gives to Adrian Bosman. Boom. And as you can tell, based on the programming, this has nothing to do with Adrian programming for me this weekend. So, <laughs> unbiased. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Hey, thank you. Appreciate everything that you've done for us as athletes. I love this. Yeah. It's kind of cool. See, so Boss is like a fan of the sport as well as the guy directing it. It's cool, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Where's that gonna go? I have a t-shirt wall. Um, I have my home gym. And uh, you know, I've done a lot of seminars with CrossFit, traveled all over the world uh, with CrossFit. So I have all the affiliates that I've visited and shirts that I've collected from the games over the years. And so this will go up there. Nice. Going into this final event, Jeffrey Adler just had to get some points on the board and finish kind of within the top 15 to take the win. But it was all eyes on who was going to be on the podium. Roman Krenikov, after a big long discussion that you saw earlier in the vlog, they were there for a good while, he was icing his foot the whole time, was going to do the last event. More than likely placed in 20th due to his foot injury, so would take zero points. Meaning that theoretically, Patrick Vellner and Brent Fukowski could pass him depending on where they place, with Brent having to get over 60 points. So really, it wasn't over just yet. Stuff that work up. You made it. Whole weekend done, only one major injury. Big gash on the knee. Oh no, I got a little cut under here. You can't see it there. Oh yeah, you've really been through the wars. It's been a hard weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that workout man. Oh when it, when Dave announced it I was like, stuff you. 
Now, as the females took to the floor for the final time, Laura Horvath was 22 points ahead of Emma Lawson. Meaning as long as she finished within three or four spots of her in this workout, she would be crowned fittest on earth. Emma was only 26 points ahead of Oriol Lowen, who was on 833 points. Over 70 points ahead of Alex Kazan. So as long as she didn't finish in the bottom three in this workout, she would be stood there on the podium and that would be your top three. But as we've learned from this weekend, nothing is over until it's over. There were still 54 thrusters, 54 echo bike calories, and that 66 foot walk and lunge before we knew the results. And it was time to go to work for the final time in the Alliant Energy Center ever, literally ever. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fittest woman on earth, Laura Horvath. Did that make you laugh? Yes. Saying that Olivia cursed out a bit jazz in the workout when she was 12 years old. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Roll the footage back to, what was it, 2017, 18, back at Jacobs. Yeah, she, um, I scaled it actually, she still beat me, I'm pretty sure. We'll find that clip somewhere. <laughs> she was always going to be good. Final event in Madison is done. How's it been? Um, like, it's been fun games, cool events. Um, I just haven't quite hit stride this weekend. I haven't been, like... Yeah, just not my full potential, and that's obviously like just irritating. I don't want to seem like I'm not happy or whatever, but obviously I'm not happy if I'm not doing my best. And I feel like my best is significantly better than this. I'm the most devastated over the running because I work so hard on my running and my muscle ups have gotten I would like to say really good and then just something was off something was off and I haven't really experienced that since 2016 yeah. having something just being off so that's just frustrating yeah I'm just not used to it I compete well we know that Annie is the most competitive <laughs> I'm still stoked to rock there, I know, I know, I know, but you've worked hard, it's not just this, but you've worked hard. Yeah, yes, you know. yeah. No, give me a, give me a, I don't want to. I just want to see that big smile just for a yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surreal. It's surreal, that's what I was saying, yeah. You've seen, a, you've seen her put in the work over years and years and years and years and years. It is surreal. I don't know. She was, she, it was 10 years ago for her. She, she was 15, 16, yeah. 16, 17. Yeah. And Jazz and I have said, in, you know, in interviews all the time, she used to say, I just, I'm here to win the CrossFit Games. I said we need to dig all those old files out, find them. She knew that this is what she wanted for so long. It's just surreal. I think it will take some time to, uh, yeah. Hey. If anything you can take away from this is whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Oh, Gary man, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Proud training partner. Absolutely, absolutely. She she deserves it. Can I hold the flag? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if I'm supposed to like fold it up or whatnot, you know. <laughs> Start waving nice it. and neat, yeah. You know that feeling? I do. It's a good feeling that you know you kind of you see it for a long time, and then to finally have it happen, it kind of feels surreal, you know. You like visualize so, it for so long, you know, and you yeah, pull it out. Like when it happened, it was like it just—it's like you're reliving a dream you already saw. 
it was very weird. Yeah. Very weird. Like it was supposed to be. So I think this is the first of many for her if she wants it, if she chooses it. Hey friend. That was a nice happy cry. It's a nice little Sunday blessing, right? Yeah. Way to take it home. Go back home to Blakely and be like, I did win something. She always roasts me because she's like, Mom, you always go but you never win. So this time I can show her something cool. A little trophy. You were hydrated enough at the end to have a little cry. I was, yeah. I had a few salt packets beforehand, so yeah. you know it waters up the eyes nicely. <laughs> No, but I'm very good at drinking water, so I stay hydrated. Uh, beers tonight or not? I'm not a drinker. It'll be uh, more like desserts and cakes, and mm. but honestly, I've had to like force feed so much. Food sounds a little gross, but I could always go for some barbecue and broccoli. You know, <laughs> always. I know a place. <laughs> After a week of the CrossFit Games, and can still take I can, the piss out of you I on the last one. Roast <laughs> Craig when we, hold on. This is a romantic part for Sammy. Uh, you're missing her a lot, aren't you? You're homesick now. It's, it's just hit. Yeah, it's just hit the end, and he's gone. I'm homesick. This is the first time I've ever felt the emotion of homesick. But look at her. That was her today at the beach. Just she just plops down in the water and just reads a book. I'm like, oh god, you're perfect. So six days until due date, and then six days until your life is like, whoa, what the heck is that? Mine? Yep, yep. Never going back. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh my god. Hold on. Tallest female at the games. Okay, but that was last year. <laughs> Not anymore. There is so much emotion. That was yeah. a that was a teary, yeah. ha like happy, yeah. everything -y. Yeah, the stress also just kind of like leaving my body felt really good. That might have been the tears, which is the stress leaving my body. Uh, Very stressful four days. Three words. You've seen Jeff go through the ups, downs, everything all over the year and summarize it in three words. That's gonna be really, really hard. <laughs> Ask her again. What's the, what is? Uh, fittest on earth. Jump in, jump in. I tell you what the funniest thing is actually, you walk into my parents' house uh -huh. and it looks like a CrossFit Hall of Fame. Just loud of everywhere. They got like 20 of these shirts, medals, everything. There's in the little corner from like Christoph, you know. Just a photo and a candle. Medal or yeah. <laughs> the awards ceremony. Just as fast as the weekend started, it ended. It flew by to this moment where three males and three females were stood on top of that podium. On the male side, Roman Krenikov, even though he didn't get a single point in the last two workouts, still managed to hold on to third position. And he also won Spirit of the Game. In second place, also known as the People's Champion and a fan favorite, Patrick Vellner. And then winning the CrossFit Games for 2023, Jeffrey Adler, who only six years ago, the first year that the CrossFit Games were actually held in Madison, was a volunteer on the equipment team now stood on the podium as the fittest man on earth. Incredible story, incredible human being. On the female side, in third position, Ariel Lowen. Not only one of the nicest people on the planet, she this year is the fittest mother on earth, the fittest woman in America, and if the summon I've learned about this weekend is that she loves good barbecue food, not bad barbecue food. She was just really consistent over the weekend and that paid off. In second place, she had the leader's jersey for a lot of the week. Super impressive for her age. She is the youngest woman ever to stand on the podium. At only 18 years old, she moves incredibly well and has an incredibly bright future ahead of her. It's going to be exciting to watch. So I'm telling you, don't forget the name, Emma Lawson. And then, taking the win on the female side, Laura Horvath. Out of the 12 scored events, she won five of them. And two or three of those, she completely dominated. The powerhouse from Hungary, 
fulfilled her dream of standing there on top of the podium at the CrossFit Games. And she did it in style. And that's a wrap from us as well. No fitness was done. I've injured my foot because my shoes are uncomfortable. Apparently I can't walk for four days in a row, but really fun. Epic Games. Thank you CrossFit for letting us do what we do and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please do smash that like button. You're all legends. And, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, catch you in the next one. And also, you all legends. Look at all these everywhere. Legends everywhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I earned it. Some of them crispy boys, that's not bad. Take your time with it though. Take your time. He's left his check behind. Hey. Hi. They're already ripping it up as well. I just wanted to have a look. You can touch it. You can bite it. It's probably real gold. It's heavy. It's heavy, isn't it? We have a legit wine rack in our house. So I was like, I am not popping that wine. That is going and on the wine rack. We can now say that your your husband has not changed his shorts all weekend. All weekend. That might be my new good luck charm. Uh, it's got around. Rumors have got around. Rumors gotten around. I'm very superstitious. You don't want to know what else I haven't changed. We recruited a nurse on our team that um, this is a, just a friendly shirt swap. One of the medical boys like, anyone want to swap a jersey for a medical shirt? And I was like, oh yeah. I wasn't going to put it on, but I felt weird being out there, lids off. <laughs> One of the few times in CrossFit you feel weird being, you know, no shirt is out, out of the closing ceremonies. Does his shirt fit you as well as your shirt fits him? Probably. Well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Oh my god. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really sign the gentleman up. He's a tiny but. guy and he's like wearing a dress now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. First ever signature. There you go. Unbelievable. Don't look at it. It doesn't look great. There you go, dude. The actual probability of finishing in exactly the same place two years in a row is probably not very high. But like, that's impressive. Uh, I didn't do like anything. Just <laughs> stayed in the same. Exactly the same fitness level. Who'd have thought? But didn't go down. Your wife's not here. Oh, oh. And I need to wash this shirt in a couple days because my wife's not here and not taking care of me. Yeah. I'm pretty much a bum when she's not around. <laughs> yeah. This, this way, please. <laughs> this way. <laughs> well, we if, see you again. You have to carry on driving as part of the, like, the scene. <laughs> uh, are you going to the after party? Time to leave. Let's go past the Dome of Doom for one more time. The last time. The last time we'll be in Madison. This has been an emotional few years of making content. This trip has been... Probably the best one. The best, I would say. But before all of that car karaoke yeah. is about to go down. This is one of Jazz's all-time oh. favorites. Hold me up and really squeeze it. Any second now. Can't see it nope, that isn't where the Capitol building is. It's on this one. It's over there. Capitol building there. Last time we're going to see that. Crazy, isn't it? Goodbye. 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 Au revoir. Everything you say, whether you say you like to eat meat or whether you say you think you only have one life, man. A legend. I. Uh, <laughs> Do you feel like you've been here before? No, I, uh, I saw your podcast. Hey, and from my part team, I just wanted to end the video by saying thank you to all the legends that came up to us over the weekend. Thank you to all the legends that have watched these videos, left amazing comments, and uh, been part of this CrossFit Games journey. Thank you to the athletes for making Jazz and I feel super warm welcome and uh making our time a super memorable one it uh they are super humans but also they are just some of the best humans on earth and i wanted to say thank you to crossfit for trusting us giving us access and um allowing us to make the content that we make 
Without them allowing us, we wouldn't have had all of this cool stuff, like over two hours of content these past four days of competition. So, yeah. No one's told any of you today out there that you're a legend. You're a legend. And uh, we'll see you in the next video when we're back home. What a great experience. 2023 CrossFit Games, done.